Hey guys, Charles Calloway, financial advisor to small business owners and their teams. Today, we're fortunate to be here with my friend, Tony DeRico. Today we decided to, to land here and we want to talk to him about, first of all, we want to talk to him about health insurance because that's one of his, his businesses and, and what he does. Um, Tony, tell us about what's going on in the health, health insurance field right now that affects people. Well, we're getting ready to go into open enrollment okay. and open enrollment for Medicare is October the 15th through December the 7th. Okay. And if you are under 65 and you have coverage via the marketplace, then that open enrollment is going to start on November the 1st and go through December 15th. Okay. Uh, it's important for us to remember those dates because on the marketplace, when we had COVID, they extended the enrollment that's, that's periods. Right. Mm -hmm. And some people may have gotten comfortable and have made the assumption that those extensions are going to be are not going to sunset. And those extensions have sunset. So we're back to status quo. So you need to make those selections and any selections that you make during that period mm -hmm. become effective January 1st. Okay. So you want to make sure that you, depending on where you fall in that, those age parameters under mm -hmm. 65, over 65. And let me uh, segue to say that you don't have to be over 65 to be on Medicare because you can be on Medicare due to disability. So that's, a, that's another thing why well, I kind of hint not to say the age, but to just simply say if you're on Medicare or if you're on another individual coverage. Okay. On the individual side would apply more to the marketplace. And that's not strictly, uh, uh, strictly to plans on the marketplace. That mm -hmm. is from all in, in individual plans. Okay. An open, an open enrollment occurs. Okay, so, so mark our calendars for October the 15th and November 1st. You got it. 